This video is sponsored by BuyCheapMuttCoins.com. Make sure you guys head on over there for all your coin purchases, anything revolving mutt. Make sure at checkout you use code GS5. Helps you out. You get a nice little discount. Helps me out. It's a win-win situation, baby. Go on ahead, BuyCheapMuttCoins.com and use code GS5. What is going on, guys? Your boy GS. Welcome back to another Madden 15 online ranked match. The road to the top 100 is real. So today we got the Texas. My opponent decides to go with the Bears. And as usual, man, we're just trying to get a nice little win streak going. Uh, it is crazy uh, how, like, you could tell that not too many people are, you know, doing, like, online ranked, man. And it's, it's, it hurts my heart, man. It, it hurts my heart, man. As somebody who loves ranked matches, you know, a lot, you can just tell the dominance that uh, Mutt is having where you know i haven't played for a while and you know i played a handful of games and i'm like top three no not three thousand but like four thousand after playing less than like 40 games like that would never happen in other maddens man it's mutt man mutt's taking over man mutt's taking over but hey that's gonna be easier for us to hit this top 100 though baby it's gonna be easier man so um our first drive we get held to a field goal and that's you know could be better you know like in mutt in your first possession, if you get held to a field goal, you might doink right off of his face. You might be in trouble because there's only three-minute quarters, and you, you might be in trouble. Uh, but, you know, when you're playing that online rank, though, them six-minute quarters, you got plenty of time, baby. You got plenty of time, daddy you. So uh, he ends up going for it on fourth down, which everybody does. And they always get it on me, man. That's why I hate when people go for it on fourth down because they always get it, man. I wish I had fourth down defense, man, because, like, a lot of people – like, um, if anybody knows USC Trojan, and shout out to him, man. Uh, we played a game last night on live stream that's going to be uploaded on my Mutt channel. Uh, should be tomorrow. And he's somebody who's freaking stupid how good he is. Like, you shouldn't be that good. And, um, you know, like, I watch his streams all the time. Like, I freaking every time he's live, I'm in there because his streams are good. Because, you know, I enjoy watching somebody of his level play the game. So you can, like, learn a lot. From watching you know just him just play the game and dominate folks and he's like um he's like oh i love when people go for it on fourth down it's just better field position they're not gonna get it and i'm like geez i wish i had that confidence to stop somebody on fourth down not me i sit there praying please punt please kick a fuckle please oh look at oh look at foster though look at foster though i made it rumbling bumbling stumbling all the way forward though all the way forward though so when he's like, I love when people go for it on fourth down because it's just stupid on their part. I'm going to I'm gonna stop them. I'm going to get great field position, and it's probably going to cost them the game. And I'm just like, wow, I wish I had that confidence. Not only does he have the confidence, he'll do it, <laughs> you know? So I've seen him um, completely just shut people down on, like, fourth quarters and stuff. I mean, going for it on fourth down and stuff. And I'm just like, wow, like, I, I wish I could do that. I just, I don't know what it is about fourth downs. Like, oh, man, I was, like, right in the area, but I got no animation. Um... I don't know. Maybe it's a mental thing. I, I don't know. If, if anybody's good in the comment, don't be lying. Don't be lying. Be, be truthful, man. Like, I know I suck at fourth downs. That's why I hate when people go for it on fourth down because I know they're going to get it. I don't hate that they're going for a fourth down. No, you got to do what you got to do to win. I just hate the fact that I can't stop nobody on fourth down, so it's frustrating. But if there's anybody relatively good stopping somebody on fourth down, what's the voodoo? What's the secret? What, like... Is it confidence? Is it believing in yourself? Because, like, I would get people to three downs, you know, stop them on third down. And I'm, okay, fourth down, little B-gap never hurt nobody. And fourth down comes, and, and I legit just get nervous. Like, I like I see a, a formation, I'm just like, oh, good. Like, fourth down right there, like, look at that. Like, somebody goes for the fourth down, I don't know what it is, man. Maybe it's a psychosomatic thing, you know what I mean? Maybe I just believe that I'm not going to stop them, and it just, that's the outcome. Because I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. I wish I had an answer. Like, I, I wish I had no problem being able to successfully stop people on fourth. I've gone way too long talking about how I could never stop people on fourth down. I'm sorry. But it's true, and I hate it. I hate. I, I wish I could change that about my game. There's a lot of things I would love to change. But the first thing would be give me the ability to stop people on fourth down, man, because I struggle with it. But anyways, 10-10 right here going into halftime. And um, I definitely feel like uh, we could do, you know, good. Um 
because we've been able to, like I said, we've been able to get him to a few fourth downs, and, you know, maybe just one stop may all we need. You know, I feel confident we're going to be able to score a little big up, never hurt nobody. You know, um, so all it's going to take is for that, you know, maybe one necessary stop, man, to go in our favor. So third and 18 right here, he drops back, and we hit him before he can get the ball off. So he decides to punt the ball, and I'm like, yes, great, finally, finally, we got something going our way. Let's see if we can go on ahead and capitalize on this. So this is, this is exactly... Of uh, the type of style of game we like to play, you know, just stay consistent on offense and just hope for that stop and do something stupid. Dang it, man! That was so dumb, man. I try to, you know, I try to go to the curl flat combo because all he was doing is playing cover three and curl flat combo is going to destroy that. And I didn't see it. My time was running out and I picked some other play, man. And I tried to do like a a variation of it and it just didn't work. It just did not work, man. So we threw a pick and. Uh, man, we cannot let those opportunities slip away. If I have a chance to stop them and get the ball back, I need to take advantage of those situations because, as you guys know, I give up points with the best of them. So I really need to make sure that when I provide my offense an extra opportunity, I got to come up big. This guy, Fitzpatrick, can't throw to save his life, man. He cannot throw to... He is just missing throws way too often. And so now... It's like, uh, man, he has an opportunity to, you know, go up 10, and we don't want that. We definitely don't want that, so let's see if our defense can come up big, you know, and, and uh, get ourselves a stop. So right here, I'm trying to go deep over the middle. Thankfully, we got a block shed sack because everything was big. So uh, right here, he rolls outside the pocket. He throws a, a quack, quack, rubber ducky. We bat that down, and uh, he actually punted the ball. He must have not known that. He was like 5 for 5 going for it on fourth down. <laughs> so um, I'll take it. Right here, look at the moves, though. Whoop! Oh, uh, right there, he just, oh, uh, man, he got so ahead of me. I should have just hit him with the spin move, but he did a good job of cutting uh, cutting my angle off. So, right here, uh, Aaron Foster is such a monster in this game, man. That man is just trucking forward, breaking tackles, just getting me big chunks of yards, and his girth is just, uh, look at it. It's undeniably undeniable. It's undeniably undeniable that this man's girth is just, oh, man, that man came screaming up the middle. We try a little screen play to Foster, and we get ourselves a first down. We definitely want a touchdown here. I mean, tie the game, worst case scenario, but we definitely want that uh, touchdown to force. Look at them block sheds on the outside to force them to need to score in order to take the lead again. So right here, we go out of the backfield, and it gets batted down. So uh, right here, just pure ignorance on my part. You guys know I preach and love fourth down sweat. You guys see me punt already, but I was just so frustrated within the game. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done a dirt bag move by me. I admit it. I admit when I'm wrong. I admit when I'm wrong. Right here, we go out of the backfield. We get stopped at like the two. And now I, I freaking did what I should have did then. I kicked the field goal. So now it's 13 to 13. And do I feel confident about stopping him? Uh, not really. Now, I'd much rather be in his position than being like, Some people actually like, you know, defense and knowing that they can get a crucial stop. And it's like, oh, there's no problem. We get the ball back. And they're already thinking about offense. Not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. We get a good sack right there. Third and 11. Goes over towards the right. We bet that down. So this is huge. Fourth down, he decides to punt the ball, trusting his defense. Y'all have no idea. When I see pump formation, uh, uh, yes, all we need is a field goal, man. We don't need to rely on no fourth down defense, which we struggle at. All we need to do is get a handful of first downs, get ourselves in position to kick the game-winning field goal. So he goes off sides right there. Doesn't matter. We pick up the first down anyways. So one big play, we're in fourth down. I mean, first field goal, two, two. then we take a huge sack. And I'm like, no. Second and 20, time is ticking. We go over towards the right, incomplete pass. What is it I'm going to do? Third and 20. He plays a little bit of coverage to me. I roll out. Look at me running up the middle of the field. Woo! And we slide down, and we kick the game-winning field goal. Let's go, man. We struggled. But at the end of the day, man, we came through with the victory. That's the end of the game, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is your boy, GS, and we're going to be signing out. Peace!